What is the single most uh, thing I'm the most proud of would be how much we've been able to achieve with so little. I feel like we've always been the guys who think how can we solve problems with technology instead of having unlimited amount of resources that we get to throw at problems. Well, Marcus I met at the kindergarten. I think we were five years old when I first got introduced to Marcus. And through that, we were at the same elementary school, we were in the same high school. Uh, and then we actually moved to another city in Finland and to attend the same technical universities. Uh, and Jaco I met actually through Marcus. So uh, in uh, university, we're kind of starting our first business and we thought who is the the smartest guy we know and Marcus immediately I have a guy and that was Jaco so that's how I got introduced to Marcus and Jaco I think uh, after we won this hackathon in in Finland during the summer it was based on this AI assistant for a conference it wasn't really ultimate and we weren't really after the win we weren't really like sure that okay this is it but working with the clients, like going deeper, understanding how their customer service works, how other areas of their business works, we kind of started to realize that this customer service industry is actually large, full of inefficiencies. And then we start to focus on that space. And I think simultaneously we start to figure out what is the, what, what is the thing called we're creating here. And uh, we wanted to be ambitious, so I think that's, that's how Ultimate AI was created. So I think uh, already we've come so far with a really tiny team. We've been able to work with some amazing companies. We have, well now we have great investors uh, and stay really competitive in this, uh, in this really uh, tough space with just a group of really good people. So I think that's the, that's the biggest obstacle, uh, but also the one thing I'm the most proud of. One person, of course, uh, not to be biased, uh, is, a, is a Finnish researcher called Teuvo Kohonen, who was actually doing a lot of pioneering work in the 70s on neural networks. And I think uh, a lot of really good AI talent in Finland comes from his work. So he is a person that I kind of look up to because he single-handedly uh, created a lot of kind of interest in AI in Finland and kind of led to the fact that now there's a lot of talented people who are even like working with him or kind of inspired by him and now this tiny little country is actually quite competitive in this uh, AI race so Teo Vokohane would be a good example of an AI godfather. Forget about AI. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think uh, AI is great, it's a really promising technology, there's a lot of uh, potential there, but it's just a technology. I think the most rewarding thing is that you can solve problems and first you need to understand the problem and the solution might involve AI uh, and that's great, but you shouldn't start with that. I see a lot of people who kind of think what they could do with AI and then push that into different problems. And, and that as an approach usually ends up with uh, years wasted. So I would say go problems first uh, and then think if AI is a good solution for that. And if it is, I would say then try to find good feedback loops, try to find great data sets, of course, but try to fit the AI into the problem or into the existing process. I think that's uh, one big learning from us.